So a buddy of mine, we'll call him Alan, just moved into his new home with his lovely family. And as someone who works and plays at home a lot, he needed an office. And since I've started to make videos on the subject, I thought I could help him pick out a few items and set up an office and gaming room for him. So this is where we start. As you can see, what he has at the moment is just something to get by. He was waiting for his contractors to finish a room in his basement, which is the only space he has to work with. Back at home, I started planning. It was important to visualize my ideas, so I signed up for a tool called Planner 5D. It's simple to use, kind of like an IKEA planning tool. Meanwhile, things started to get rolling on his end. He hired contractors and started to get the walls and new floors up. The thing is, Alan is actually quite the hobbyist and game, and I don't mean just video games. He has quite the assortment of board games, figures, and collectibles, which makes him more interesting than me. This is the first time he's ever done something like a desk setup. The goal is to keep it within a moderate budget and not go too crazy while still able to showcase his visual collections as much as possible. First, I picked out some items for him to choose that would match his ideas, and mostly from Ikea of course, and also trickled a little bit into Wayfair. I decided to go with an L-shaped desk, this way we can have one section for gaming and another section to do his office and business work. This was a fairly standard black desk without any fancy features or designs. It was the right size and allows for flexibility and he liked the black look. I chose to go with this longer 75 inch IKEA shelf in white which will be plenty of space for some displays and collectibles. We transferred Alan's original desktop equipment as it was still pretty new. The gaming monitor that he had had a hulk of a stand. There was no way that this was staying on the desk so I ordered a Vivo premium monitor arm from Amazon that I knew would be able to hold this monitor. I thought this was pretty nice and sturdy with decent versatility without going into the high end price range. Govi came through with more lights for us. I knew I wanted lights to display along the wall with these premium RGB IC strips. I used cable concealers to wrap the light around this awkward beam in the corner because I didn't want the dotted lights to show. So this looked a bit cleaner. The bulkhead near the ceiling also created an awkward space but it helped to give this boxed in shelf look which was perfect for the lighting. I also used the additional concealers to hide the wire going to the cable box. I was also really excited to try out these new wall glides from Govi. They're similar to the LifeX Boom but at a lower price tag. In anticipation, I had done some sketches for the placement. I really wanted to get two of them to create an intricate design, but that may come later. So we got just one for now and decided to put this on the rear wall with this peak or upside down orientation. This type of light really had a nice soft glow and smooth looking gradient along the wall. It has tons of patterns and colors. With a little bit of shelf arrangement, this section was almost done. Now it's time to add some accessories, like this faux leather desk mat in gray for the keyboard and mouse. Most gamers tend to use wire peripherals for faster response times, so some wires will be showing here. I also got this very affordable headphone stand, which only cost about $11 and is surprisingly good quality. All metal build, hefty, and sturdier than it looks. Now on the work side of the desk, we installed an IKEA pegboard, but we also needed some sort of lighting. I wanted something simple, practical, and seamless, so I got this cabinet LED from Basis. It's sleek, well-built, nice solid material, and not cheap plastic. It clips to the light and attaches under the cabinet with 3M strips. No screws and most importantly, no wires. You can adjust the dimming and color temperature to your liking. A battery charge light in this area is definitely a nice bonus keeping the look clean. According to their website, lasts several months on a full charge. We will see about that. With all the equipment and connections, cable management was not easy. We did as much as we could to clean it up with some sleeves and channels, but it's not perfect. The last piece of puzzle comes from Grove Made. Now, if you've seen these around online, you know that their wooden accessories are not cheap, and rightfully so. I was able to get a few items to add to Alan's desk, and they're absolutely stunning. You can see the craftsmanship in their walnut pen holder, and MagSafe charging stand really looks premium. Let's turn everything on for the first time. As you can see, Alan's PC build, which he's owned for a few years already, has some nice lighting and personal touches. When combined with the shelf lights, the wall glide, it really creates a nice display for gamer style lighting. The headset he's using is a SteelSeries Arctis 5 with RGB. These are wired headsets and he's been using them for quite a while. 
same with the gaming mouse which is the Razer Nega Trinity and the keyboard is a Black Widow Tournament Edition. The speaker set are also from Razer, the Nomo Chroma, which are pretty popular and at a decent price tag. Also on the desk is a Google Nest Hub, which he uses for his calendar and smart devices. Many of his collectibles reflect that he's a big fan of Final Fantasy and Pokemon, such as this exclusive figure that's been sold out for a while now. Another recent upgrade was his 2022 Secret Lab gaming chair, the Titan Evo which he claims is the most comfortable chair he's ever sat in, especially for longer sessions. This gray and black fabric really blends nicely with the room. Of course, it's not all fun and games. As mentioned, the left wing of this desk is used for everyday work-related tasks and is spacious enough with more than enough lighting. I must say, overall, he was very pleased with this setup, with the RGB lights, desk accessories, are all new first-time additions for him. While a lot of the character and design of his office comes from his rare collections over the years, it is important to have the space that complements it. The rest of his office is still a work in progress. A few pieces of art, a new door, and some items on display for now. And if it ever comes to it, I may show the entire office in a future video. I've linked most of the items that we use in the description below. Feel free to comment and hit that like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.